Alright everyone, I'd like to welcome you all back to the Arcade of Fun, in which we're going to be doing our 7th game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the SNES, and we won $266,151 so far. Let's see if we can win more. Taking on Rob and Jenny this time. Here we go. For the categories we have Nursery Rhymes, New Hampshire, Movie Trivia, Education, Fiction, and finally, <laughs> National Landmarks. <laughs> sorry. Fiction for, or er, Education 100, yes, sorry. According to one estimate, there are a thousand of these in U.S. colleges and 600, 768 of them march. What are bands? <sighs> Education for 200. <sighs> the answer <Yeah>. is... <sighs> Some experts say kids should spend 10 minutes a day times their grade level on this activity. What is homework? Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of some of this mucus I have. Education 300. <laughs> the only U.S. chair of Shiite studies is at this New Jersey Ivy League institution. <laughs> what is Princeton? <laughs> there we go. I think I got it. Education for 400. The answer is... From the Latin for parish, it's a common term for an elementary school maintained by a parish. What is a parochial? There we go. An education for 500, please. The Wharton School, the first college school of business, is part of this university. What is the uh, University of Pennsylvania? There we go. Ran the category. Fiction for a hundred. The answer is. The hero of the Sir Walter Scott saga is the son of Cedric the Saxon, who is Ivanhoe. Fiction 200, please. The answer is... Much of his East of Eden is set in the Salinas Valley, just east of Monterey Bay, California. I'm going to guess on this one and say who is John Steinbeck. Right. Uh, fiction for 300, please. The answer is. One of Nikolai Gogol's first works was this historical novel of a Cossack and his sons, Ostap and Andre. <laughs> Rob. Oh, he doesn't know. Ha ha. Jenny. Terrace Bulba. Oh, okay. Movie Trivia 100. The answer is... Hollywood Insider movie in which Tim Robbins played a murderous studio executive. What is the player? Trivia for 200. The answer is. When Gene Kelly broke an ankle, this star came out of retirement to play an Easter parade. Who's Fred Astaire? Uh, 
Movie trivia 300. The answer is... In Beaches, 46-year-old Lainey Kazin played the mother of this 43-year-old, who is Bette Midler. Movie trivia for 400. All in. Thus, this film ran for 31 weeks in Paris with the title Blanche des et les Sept Nines. What is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Here we go. Movie trivia for five. The answer is... Hercules and Hercules Unchained starring this muscle man are available uncut on home video. Who is uh, Steve Reeves? There we go. I'll take uh, fiction for 400. The answer is... His Mosses from an Old Man's is one of, called one of the finest collections of stories in American literature. Rob. Nathaniel Hawthorne was correct. And that gets him out of the hole and on the plus side. Fiction 500. The answer is... William Saroyan wrote the human comedy that is 19th century Frenchman wrote La Comédie Humaine. Rob. Honor de Balzac. New Hampshire 100. The answer is... Sergeant President of the Yukon Field at home at the Derby in Laconia devoted to races of these. What are dogs? No, that's wrong. Dog sleds, oh, okay. New Hampshire 200. The answer is... The state's white mountains are part of this larger chain. What are the Appalachians? New Hampshire. A tall white species of this tree once used to make Indian canoes is now New Hampshire state tree. It's the white birch. New Hampshire 400. The answer is... It's the four-word ultimatum that serves as the state's motto. What is live free or die? New Hampshire 500. The answer is... From 1641 to 79, New Hampshire was ruled by this colony. What is Massachusetts? There we go. Uh, let's have national landmarks for 100. The answer is... A national landmark since 1960. It has been educating future army officers since 1802. 
What is West Point? Oh, um, National Landmarks for 200. The answer is... Architect who designed the town Easton and used it as his Wisconsin summer home until his death in 1959. Who is Frank Lloyd Wright? National Landmarks 300. The answer is... His landing site on St. Croix became a national landmark over 450 years later. Who is Christopher Columbus? National Landmarks 400. The answer is... The Old Faithful Inn in this state has a seven-story lobby made of logs. What is Wyoming? National Landmarks are 500. The answer is... South Dakota side of the last major confrontation between Indians and U.S. troops. What is Wounded Knee? There we go. Nursery rhymes 100. The answer is... They all ran after the farmer's wife. Who are the three blind mice? Two hundred. The answer is... A man of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of these. What are weeds? Three hundred. The answer is... Oh dear, what can the matter be? Johnny's so long at this. What is fair? Four hundred. The answer is... This shepherd fell asleep on the job. Who is Little Boy Blue? Last clue. The answer is... It's who Simple Simon asked, let me taste your ware. Who is the pie man? 300. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have 9,300, Jenny 700, Rob 600. So Rob goes first in double Jeopardy. songs, South America, European history, and finally, hats. <laughs> Let's get going. Patriotic songs, 200. The answer is... Song that begins, Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooden. What is Yankee Doodle? Picture out of for 400, please. I'm going all in on this one. Hymn that begins from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. What is the marine hymn? Patriotic song 600. The answer is... 
K.L. Bates wrote, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, after a visit to this Colorado peak. What is Pike's Peak? Uh, let's have a uh, Patriot Songs for 800, please. The answer is... In the George M. Cohen song, It's the Emblem of the Land I Love, what is the grand old flag? And let's have Patriotic Songs 1000. The answer is... Irving Berlin's song about soldiers going to Europe during World War I. What is over there? Good for a thousand. Ran the category. I'd like to go with European history for a hundred, please. Or European history for two hundred, please. Sorry. We're in double jeopardy now. He was emperor of Rome when a great fire destroyed much of the city in 64 AD. Who is Nero? European history 400. The answer is... The Edict of Nantes gave religious freedom to these Frenchmen. Rob. The Huguenots. Popery 200. The answer is... So, go talk to the Emperor. Your head should touch the floor this many times after each kneeling. Jenny. Three. I was thinking that, but I didn't want to risk it. It's alright. Popery 400. The answer yeah. is... As a major leaguer, he won more games than any other, but he lost even more than he won. Connie Mack. Spelling, 200. The answer is... A 200th anniversary. What is a bicentennial? Spelling for 400. The answer is... The spider was named for Taranto, Italy. What is a tarantula? Spelling for 600. The answer is... The name of this dish is German for sour cabbage. What a sauerkraut. Spelling 800. The answer is... These blood vessels connect your arteries and veins. What are capillaries? And spelling for a thousand. All in. The picture writing of ancient Egypt. What is hieroglyphics? Ah, uh, the European history 600. The answer is... Between 1661 and 72, this French king established academies of dance and music. Who is... Charlemagne? No, not Charlemagne. My bad. Jenny? Louis the 
14th. That's right. Popery 600. The answer is. According to the camp song, it was sad when this great ship went down. What is the Titanic? Popery 800. The answer is. The first Europeans to arrive in Minnesota were explorers from this country. Nope. Nope. Well, I don't know, so I'm just going to stay put. France. All right. Pope Ray 1000, please. The answer is... This Florida lake is the second largest body of fresh water wholly in the U.S. What is Lake Okeechobee? There we go. Uh, let's have uh, European history 800. The answer is... After World War I, Germany's New Republic was named for this city where its constitution was drawn up. Weimar. European history a thousand. The answer is... In 1887, she celebrated her golden jubilee, marking 50 years on the throne. Queen Victoria. Hats for 200. The answer is... The circular French cap came back into style when Faye Dunaway wore one in Bonnie and Clyde. What is a beret? Hats for 400. The answer is... Your high school graduation wouldn't be complete without this square flat hat with a tassel. What is a mortarboard? Hat 600? The answer is... A member of the PBA, or what the British normally call a derby. What is a bowler? Hats for 800. The answer is... This red felt hat has been the national headdress of Turkey until it was banned in 1925. What is a fez? Hats 1000. The answer is... This round woolen cap was named after the title hero of a Robert Burns poem. What is a table shanter? South America, 200. The answer is... Icy mountain streams in Peru are the source of the Amazon, which flows into this ocean. What is the Atlantic? to the presidency of this country in 1973, his wife was elected vice president. What is Argentina? Hats 
The answer is. If you're watching a music video in Montevideo, you're in this country's capital. What is Uruguay? South America for 800. The answer is. Country whose capital lies closest to the line of zero degrees latitude. What is Ecuador? Last clue. One thousand dollars. The answer is. The Braza the Braganzas were a royal family that ruled in Portugal in this South American country. What is Brazil? Pretty much dominated this game at 54,200. Rob was 2,000. Jenny 1,100. Let's play Final Jeopardy! Uh, no, I cannot be caught. The category is the Mysterious East. I'm gonna go just 200 only. Until he said he wasn't, Japanese emperors were considered divine. I'm just gonna say who is Hirohito. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna be right or wrong, I'm still gonna win either way. Who is it? It is Hirohito. I got it right. So I'm going to win $54,400. Well, Jenny got it wrong. She loses all her money. Rob got it right. He goes up to 3000 But I have a seven-game winning total of $320,551. And I'll see you all for that next video.